remember to like and subscribe. Hey, how's it going? This is John Clark. And as promised, this is a simple video on how to access the software controller within your A10. This video is for anybody that, you know, is just starting out or they've been put in the position to run an A10 and they haven't done it before. Or maybe you're just not that strong with, you know, IP. So we're gonna go from there. This video is for you. In order to access the software controller, you have to do so through a network. There's a network port on the back, which is a standard RJ45 ethernet port, and there's a USB port. Again, in order to access the software controller, you have to do it over the network. And you've probably hooked up your Cat5, hooked it up to the laptop, launched the software controller, and nothing happened. And you're wondering, well, what do I do? So what you have to do is actually see what the IP address is of the device. In order to do that, you need to just grab a regular AB USB cable, which is just a regular A to B printer style cable. And you need to hook that up to your device and Being a little, little bit tight. Hook that up the same way you would get any other device and you need to launch the ATEM setup software. So you need two pieces of software. The first one is the ATEM setup software and the second one is the ATEM software controller. From there, you're gonna get the IP address of the device which is, it's going to be four sets of digits that are three digits each ranging up to from one to two five five and you need to go in and change the TCP IP settings of the port you're using to access that. And then we need to set it to static and change it to uh, IP version four within the same class range, but a different value. And I'm gonna, I know that's a lot to digest, so I'm gonna just jump right into the computer and show you how to do that. And we'll launch the software controller. Cool, now that we have our USB cable hooked up, we're gonna launch the ATEM setup software. You're going to click the information button on the left, and now we can see our IP settings, and we can either write that down or make some changes. As you can see, my ATEM's IP address is 192.168.2.240. If you're not strong with networking and you don't have a lot of other things going on, you could probably just keep whatever IP address you have if you're strong with IP and you want to change it to adapt it to your needs, this is where you do that. Um, moving forward though, the next thing you need to do is change your port settings to put your computer's port within the same IP range as your ATEM. For me again, it's 192.168.2.240. So I'm going to put my computer's port in 192.168.2 and then something else. In order to do this, I need to go into my settings and network preferences on my Mac. So system preferences, network, and now I can see the port, it's in yellow, and I'm gonna change this to manual, which is static. Now I'm gonna enter the same IP range as my ATEM, but the last set of digits, I'm gonna make something different. So 192.168.2, Two, it's the same as our ATEM, but the last set of digits, I'm gonna make something different. And I usually use 55 for mine, and then if there's other machines, those are 65, 75, but that's just my preference. Now that we've set that up, let's launch the software controller. Voila, pops right up, easy, right? And let's go into the setup and try launching it from there. Different ways to achieve the same goal. Once again, voila. Pretty easy, right? It's, it's not that complicated and you can use the same kind of method to access other devices and start jumping in and out of uh, network-based interfaces and starting to set up your own static network. So hopefully this was useful. Thanks again for watching. I'm John Clark, rock on. Remember to like and subscribe.